Hi, I'm Maddie Hayes and I'm a senior at Erie High School. And today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour on why Erie High School is one of the best schools in Colorado. Come on, let's check it out. Erie High School has been on the rise over the last decade. Only 10 years ago, Erie High School had just over 600 students. Today, it houses 1,600 of the best students in Colorado. Part of what makes Erie High School so special are the outstanding programs that exist within these walls. Just like every school in the district, Erie High School has focus programs. We caught up with principal of Erie High School, Matt Buckler, on what focus programs are and what they mean to the school. Erie High School has three focus programs. Our main program is the Academy of Engineering and Aerospace. We also developed an advanced placement capstone program. Erie High was one of uh, just two in Colorado that started AP Capstone a few years back. That also has grown tremendously. Students can achieve either an AP certificate or an AP capstone diploma if they complete the entire program. And then our third program is the Erie Tiger Network. And the Erie Tiger Network is just an amazing way that we have incorporated our students and our staff in celebrating all of the achievements that go on at the school. So you'll see Erie Tiger Network film crews certainly at athletic events, but also at choir and band performances. Uh, they'll often highlight uh, a particular academic program. You can follow the Erie Tiger Network on YouTube, uh, and there's a growing viewership there. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of the uh, three focus programs at Erie High. There may be more down the road, uh, but I feel like we've really met the needs of a great spectrum of our students at Erie High. So six years ago, Matt Buckler um, did, gave a survey to the community asking um, what did the, our local community think was a priority. And so based on that survey, they decided aerospace engineering was a priority. Students have to take eight semesters of electives um, to complete the pathway. And there are different levels of completion. So if they take four semesters, they can get a, a pin as like a level of recognition. If they do um, all eight semesters, then they can get the certificate, and if they take honors or AP math and science classes and have a GPA, meet a GPA requirement, then they can get the engineering honors diploma. We do um, community partnerships um, for, um, throughout the four years. Um, we try to bring guest speakers in that students can ask questions to, of like, what is your job like? Um, and they can get exposed to a lot of different problems that engineers solve in the world. Um, at part of the capstone requirement is that they do a 30-hour in-person work-based learning experience. So we call it an internship, but it's more like a job shadow. We want students not to just take our word for things, but to see a variety of experts in, in, um, in technology and engineering fields. We focus a lot on collaboration, and I think that the students in this program really um, are a cohort. They make friends with like-minded students in freshman year and they see these students like in their engineering classes for the rest of the four years. So it, it's a community and we focus a lot on um, student-led teamwork and so they develop um, industry-related um, agile software uh, teamwork skills that are practiced in industry as well. So I think it, it's really nice to see by the time they get to senior year, they can just hit the ground running in uh, effective teamwork, whereas um, I think some of their <laughs> peers in college and freshman year in college are going are gonna to struggle with that collaborative nature. I think it prepares students largely to know even if they want to do engineering, so they're starting an engineering major really informed about what that means. So um, what types of problems they'll do, the design process, um, using data to inform decision making, so I think they're kind of going into college with a, 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 a leg up on what to expect and what an engineering degree is all about. AP Capstone provides an opportunity for students to be rewarded for work in AP classes. If they receive a three or higher on enough AP exams, they could earn an AP Capstone, which looks great on resumes and college applications. 
AP Capstone is also self-directed. So students can take AP classes that are focused in the humanities or focused in the sciences and still receive a capstone diploma for their work. So you don't have to get pigeonholed into one way or another. Whatever your strength is or whatever you're looking to pursue, that's where you can go. And then finally, the AP research component of that is a self-directed experiment. So students are writing their own research questions and devising their own experiments, running the experiments, analyzing the data, and producing a paper that is the equivalent of a master's level thesis. That is something incredibly unique and that the average undergrad in a freshman state university can't say that they accomplished. The life skills that are achieved in the AP Capstone program are outnumbered um, as far as analytical thinking, organizing, reading skills, um, organization of your thoughts, thinking critically about the world around you, being able to produce a self reflective project, analyzing data. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. These skills that are going to help them the rest of their high school career and then more specifically into college, into trade school, whatever that next step is, those life skills that they're getting in AP, AP Capstone will be easily um, fit into the next phase of life. Excellence at Erie High School goes beyond academics as our athletic department has also had major success including multiple state championships in the last few years. Not only did Erie have two winning state championship teams last year, but they also had a wrestling state champion, Rudy Lopez. In the 2019 to 2020 school year, every single program in the school sent someone to postseason. So Erie High is known for a lot of things, but uh, certainly our athletic programs have been uh, robust and tremendous participation and they've been quite successful. Uh, we've grown tremendously as a school over the past uh, five to ten years. We've added uh, new programs to meet the demands of more students. We have the St. Brain's uh, one and only boys lacrosse program. We started a girls swimming program uh, concurrently with the lacrosse program and our kids and our families and staff are very dedicated the work ethic and the commitment to excellence that I see in the classrooms, I also see in our athletic program. If there is one unsung hero of Erie High School, it has to be the Performing Arts Department. From top-notch theater performances to a huge band program to the best all-state choir numbers in the area, the Performing Arts in Erie is truly a gem. Hi, we are your Performing Arts Department. Between choir, instrumental, and theater, we have a total of 24 different class offerings. I'm Scott Wright, the Theater Department Director, where I teach nine different drama classes and run the After School Theater Program. We have beginning drama, improv, acting and directing for film, musical theater 101, stage tech, small ensembles, advanced drama, and two auditioned theater classes are music and drama, and our musical theater. Hi, my name is Doug Carmichael, and there's nine different options for instrumental music. We've got marching band, symphonic band, concert band, jazz band, drum line, which is actually part of marching band orchestra, guitar one, guitar two, and drum class. Those classes that are auditioned are symphonic band, also known as wind ensemble, drum line, and also jazz band. Hi, I'm Kara Pernas. I teach Brick Street Baritones, which is our all-male choir that is not an audition group, and AP Music Theory. Hello, I'm Talia Bird, and I teach five choirs. Our auditioned choirs are Topaz, CR5, and 5130. Our non-auditioned choirs are Concert Choir and Treble Choir. I also teach Bel Canto and History of Rock and Roll this year. We hope you check out our websites or follow us on social media for more information. Students from Erie have gone to Stanford, Dartmouth, Harvard, and many other prestigious institutions, both here in Colorado and across the nation. So there's many things that a comprehensive high school like Erie High School uh, does and offers to the community of students uh, and parents. But academic rigor is usually job one at high schools and Erie High is no different. We have a variety of different ways uh, for kids to excel uh, and achieve their goals and 
study at really the highest levels of academic rigor. But I would also tell you that what's most important to me as the principal is that every single student has a pathway to achieve his dreams at this school. I think we can accommodate a wide spectrum of student interests and desires. And once students are able to articulate their dreams, we're able to build a path toward a successful completion of that. We hope you enjoyed your behind the scenes look at Erie High School. We can't wait for you to join the Erie Tiger family and bring excellence to the next level. Go Tigers! Hello, my name is Emily Sinna. I'm a Spanish teacher at Erie High School and I am here to tell you about our World Language Department. Language study is very beneficial to students. It broadens their worldviews. It helps them understand not only their culture, but other cultures as well. Um, it helps develop students' literacy skills in a second language, as well as improving their literacy skills in the native language. It helps our students build practical life skills, such as surviving a job interview. Um, it fosters a competitive edge in the college application process. And after students get out into the workforce, it increases job opportunities being bilingual and boosts potential salaries. Currently, uh, four-year public universities in Colorado require two or three levels of a second language. So continuing past that requirement sets students apart. Another benefit to studying a second language in St. Varane is that our students can earn the Seal of Biliteracy, which is a special award given at graduation for students who demonstrate high proficiency in English language arts and a second language as measured through GPA and SAT or AP or IB testing. More information can be found at the link that you see on the screen. This year, Erie High School is offering Spanish, French, and Mandarin Chinese at the levels you see indicated on the screen. As always, uh, the levels and languages that we are able to offer are subject to change based on our students' needs. Our Erie High School World Language Educators are a very passionate group. Um, we have 58 years of collective teaching experience amongst us. We have lived in and traveled to many of the different countries our students study, and we really enjoy bringing that real world experience into the classroom. Our teachers report that our favorite parts about teaching are watching our students gain confidence, having fun, seeing the aha moment where something just clicks for our students and making class an interdisciplinary experience to help them identify and achieve their goals and see how second language can fit into that. Lastly, and most importantly, here are some things uh, that former students have said about learning a second language because what they say and how they feel about their learning is what drives quite a bit of our instruction. So at this point, thank you for your time. I hope this has been helpful to get an idea about Erie High School world language. My name is Mix Aureliana, and this is my seventh year teaching at Erie High School. I currently teach AP Studio Art, Animation, and Multimedia, and I regularly teach crafts and ceramics classes as well. I have a master's degree in art education from Western State, Colorado, and an animation and multimedia degree from the Art Institute of Seattle. And my favorite thing to do when students need something to do as an extra credit assignment is to assign them to draw corgis because corgis are my favorite dog. Hi, my name is Lily Moore. Um, I am a new teacher here at Erie High School and I am teaching digital art and photography. Um, I want to help students achieve their goals for their future, so not just understanding who my students are in my class and the content area that they should be learning, but also understanding what are their goals for the future, where are they planning on going, and, and how can I help them with that. And then I want to impart skills that students can use during the rest of their lives. So art is not necessarily something that everybody's going to be pursuing as a career, but I think that there are a lot of things within art, skills that you can develop that um, will help people with their hobbies or with their professional lives. There's still that element of conceptual thinking, of um, developing creative ideas, of thinking outside of the box, and all of those things can help 
can be developed in an art class. So I want to help students um, access that creativity and that um, conceptual understanding of ideas that they're using and apply those to their artwork, but also be able to apply those skills outside in the rest of their lives. Um, I also think it's important to know that uh, I, art school art classes are seen as intimidating or that seen as that's something that's talent driven, but I think that all of the classes, there's something that for everyone to pull from. You don't have to be a student that's pursuing art for their future, but it's there's um, you can learn how to be more creative and there's always room to grow in that way. Hello, I am Katie Kaywood and I specialize in drawing and painting as well as advanced studio art. This is my third year at Erie High School and 19th year as an art educator. How did I get here? Well, I was born in Maryland. Then I spent my childhood in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. After high school, I headed west to Colorado State University, where I majored in art and played on the soccer team. Then I thought, wow, how cool would it be to share my passion of art with others? I went to grad school at Penn State University and studied art education. I had a brief career as a whitewater raft guide in North Carolina. Then I returned to the amazing state of Colorado to teach your awesome students. Here at Erie High School, we offer a wide variety of art courses for all students. Whether you are interested in 2D or 3D art, digital or traditional media, we have something for you. As you can see by the visual arts pathway illustrated here, we have various levels ranging from beginning to intermediate and advanced for all disciplines within our department. We encourage students to explore one or more beginning level courses to build a solid foundation, and then we highly recommend upward movement to intermediate and advanced courses based on interest. All intermediate and advanced courses have prerequisites. If you have substantial prior art experience and feel you belong in a higher level class, you may submit a portfolio for teacher review. Interested in learning more about the courses we offer? Here is how to find detailed course descriptions on the Erie High School website. From the home page, click on the Academics tab. Then select EHS Course Descriptions. From here, find the Course List by Department tab. Then select Art under the Electives column. Here you will be able to scroll through a list of all art department course offerings as well as view the pathway chart included in this video. And if you aren't convinced yet, here are some more reasons why you should take art. We will teach you to think creatively, be resilient, problem solve, and have fun while you're doing it. Art helps to relieve stress, build confidence, and provides a healthy outlet for self-expression. Art is essential to our human existence. It is everywhere, and the skills students learn in our courses are transferable to any future endeavor. Art is about creating interesting problems for yourself and then discovering the solutions. It is a skill and a great joy that will help you in all areas of your life.
right, everybody. Welcome to the English department here at Erie High School. Um, lovely to sort of see you all and to get a chance to um, tell you a little bit about our um, content area and some pathways for success with respect to English at Erie High School. So um, we are a department of 10 teachers, okay? Um, and so we've got Ms. Curtis, Ms. Imboden, Mrs. Lee, Mr. Miller, Mrs. Mueller, Mrs. Munnelly, which is myself, Ms. Osborne Arita, Mr. Rupp, Ms. Trinkner, and Mr. Wilson. So again, there are 10 glorious individuals, um, all of which who are extremely competent and expert in their field. If you notice, every almost every teacher in our department has an advanced degree of some kind um, in curriculum development and rhetoric and literature um, and a vast literacy and a, you know, a vast array of skill sets. Um, and that's one of the things that makes our department so unique and so effective in what we do. So what we've got here is our scope and sequence for English. Um, so English is the only class that students are required to take all four years of their time while they're enrolled here at Erie High School. So ninth and 10th grade, they have two choices and two pathways. So you can do just a standard on level English nine or enroll in honors English nine um, for a bit more of a challenge. And usually that segues into a class called AP seminar, um, which is a research and sort of nonfiction based class where students learn a lot of valuable skills with respect to sources and research and controversial topics and things like that. Um, English 10 is your other option in 10th grade. Then you move to 11th grade, you have a few other options. So you have on-level English 11. 11th grade is also where you can jump into or continue on your AP pathway. Typically, folks will go um, from AP seminar into AP language. So AP Lang is generally the junior level AP class, where AP Lit is the uh, 12th grade, the senior level AP, AP class. Those are interchangeable. So you can take either one as a junior or senior, but we definitely recommend that you take AP Lang prior to taking AP Lit. Just allows for some of those foundational writing skills um, and critical thinking that are really, really, really um, important when it comes to looking at literature. Okay, so 12th, 11th and 12th grade is also where you have the opportunity to take some English electives. So um, our electives include speech and debate, creative writing, mythology, young adult novel, and then we've got classes that you can current, concurrently enroll in through Front Range. So there's a freshman composition course um, that students can elect to take for their 12th grade year as well, but students do need to take English all four years. So that might be a semester of CP12 and then a semester elective. So all of our electives are one semester electives. The other English classes, AP classes included, are year long classes as well. So again, English is one of the is the only class that students need to take all four years at Erie High School. So why we're awesome, um, again, we have a high level of learning and involvement, again, with the advanced degrees and continued education from us as educators. It's something that we bring into our classroom and we model that sort of that lifelong learning aspect of what it means to be a student. Super highly collaborative. We, we bring in modern and relevant curriculum, including choice novels. Uh, we ask kids to innovate and use innovative pedagogical practices building strong relationships and rapports with our students and families and community members is of the utmost importance for us as an English department. And we've also sponsored a variety of clubs within our school community, including the Rotary Club, the Model United Nations and Sources of Strength. You could even throw speech and debate in there as well. Um, so a lot of good things cooking in the English department. Um, again, take a look at us as teachers. Um, and we hope you enjoy. Have a good night. Hello, I'm Christy Anderson, and I am here to introduce you to our amazing PE department. We have five different PE teachers that teach a variety of course offerings. As a ninth grader, you are required to take health. You are also required to choose either Ironworks 1 or Core PE. Then your 10th, 11th, and 12th grade year, the rest of the PE electives are opened up for you. Let's look more closely at those ninth grade offerings. If you choose to take high school core PE, it's a traditional PE pathway, and that class is gonna provide you with an all around PE experience where you're gonna participate in team sports, individual sports, and fitness activities. 
If you choose Ironworks 1, that's the athletic focused pathway. Usually you're playing a sport or you're just a particularly fitness minded person. You can also take Ironworks 1 your 10th, 11th and 12th grade year. The rest of the electives, your 10th, 11th and 12th grade year, you can choose to take aerobic fitness, which is a fitness based class that does anything from yoga to boot camps. Adventure Bound is our climbing wall. We are one of only two schools in St. Vrain Valley that offers a climbing wall class. Invasion and Field is also called Team Games, and that's where you're going to participate in games like softball, basketball, volleyball, floor hockey. Net and Target is a fun class that concentrates on dual and net sports like badminton, ping pong, tennis, volleyball. Fitness is a all-around fitness class that focuses on functional fitness activities, often just body weight activities that you can do anywhere, inside or outside. If you've already taken Ironworks 1, then you're free to take Ironworks 2. And then you can also sign up for Ironworks 3 if you have a teacher or coach recommendation. We are awesome because we promote lifelong fitness athlete support mental, emotional, and social well-being, and academic support through fitness. I think now more than ever through quarantine, we realize how important moving is to life. Even if it's just moving to walk into the school and walk around school, we know how important that is for students to be able to focus academically and how much being physically active supports mental, emotional, and social well-being. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great night. I'm Amanda Ferguson. I'm one of four special education teachers here at Erie High School. Our team wanted to just take a minute to share with you what special education programs look like at Erie. We are highly focused on inclusion and within that inclusion model, we have a continuum of services to support kids as best as possible. Um, our first kind of level of support is we do support within the general education setting. So that would be kind of our co-taught classes, which you can see here. Um, we offer algebra, geometry, also across English. So we really focus on those course to support students in accessing that instruction and doing well and making those gains, closing their gaps. We also offer some special education offerings and these classes can, are in small groups. So about 10 students and provided by a special education teacher. In some cases, these classes taught by the special education teacher do serve as core replacement classes, depending on the student. However, most likely they're going to be elective classes, all depending on what your student needs and how we can work with them to reach their goals um, according to their IEPs. Again, we're very inclusion focused and two amazing programs that we have to support that is our peer mentoring program, which is where any student can sign up and be trained as a peer mentor to support students with significant support needs in the gen ed environment. We also have unified athletics, which is a combination of our typical peers and our students with disabilities and they get together um, and play on a team together and play amongst other schools in our district. It's a pretty amazing opportunity to be a part of. 
Um, our goal is to support students in their transition process, whether they're coming from middle school to high school or from another school to Erie. Um, we're excited to have you. We want to make that um, transition process as smooth and seamless as possible. And so one way we do that is we collaborate. We collaborate with the family. We collaborate with their current case managers and teachers. So we highly encourage you to reach out to us. Let us know what you need, what questions you have. Um, we'd be delighted to set up an appointment with you in the spring and meet and go over to figure out what kinds of classes you should take, what kind of supports are needed to be in place for your student to be successful here. Um, again, contact information is at the bottom. Please let us know how we can help. Thank you so much for watching our video. Hello, my name is Pauline Higgins and I head the Family and Consumer Sciences Department here at Erie High School. I'm here to talk to you about some popular elective choices that we offer here at Erie High School, specifically the career and technical education choices. In the Family and Consumer Sciences Department, we have classes that are considered a practical art. And those include culinary nutrition, food science, living on your own, and relationships. Stephen Aguirre is the head of the personal finance department, and he teaches personal financial literacy. This is a required course for all students. Brandon Bird heads our media department, and his classes include publications, electronic media, mass media, and yearbook. All great elective options for our students here at Erie High School. Welcome to Open House. We are your Erie High School math department. There are currently 10 of us educators that teach anywhere from pre-algebra all the way to AP Calculus BC. We offer 13 different courses in your pursuit of completing three years of mathematics here at Erie High. We, of course, always recommend that you take four years of math before graduation in order to be career and college ready. The exciting thing about our scope and sequence is once you pass Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 Honors, there are several paths you can pursue. You can pursue a path in Stats Finite, or you could go another route and take Pre-Calculus and then continue with Calculus AB or BC. We have several Honors courses as well as courses that help with struggling students. This is our Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2 extension classes, as well as pre-algebra. The other areas that set Erie High School math apart from the rest is in a normal school setting. We would offer tutoring every single week in our Tiger Den where students can come and get help from various math teachers. We have a math honors society that meets once a week called the Mu Alpha Thetas. Um, we offer three AP math courses. Those include AP Stats, AP Calc AB, AP Calc BC. Um, we support all learning abilities. And of course, our teachers are phenomenal. We are incredibly collaborative. We have common calendars, common assessments. This allows for you to feel like your student, no matter what teacher, will always get the same instruction or content. Um, last but not least, I would say that your students are in great hand with educators like those who dress up in Halloween themed costumes every single year. Thank you.